Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeanette. In this video, I want to talk about my favorite brush pens at the moment, but also from last year. Whenever I'm at my desk, I just like grabbing a brush pen and paper and start lettering random words and uh, letters. And I think it's kind of relaxing, I guess. By the way, I think the word I letter the most often is hey. The pants that I use the most often are the small Tembo brush pants and the Pantone hat because they are small and handy and as you could see my papers are often quite full and so they still fit in there. Recently I like the Pantone touch slightly more because it's softer than the Tembo ones. Both come in colors as well and Tembo also released a neon pad quite recently and I have a video on that. I put the link in the description below and there will be also an info card I think over there. And I kind of hope that um, Pantone will also release new colors would be cool. Um, I don't know, I just hope that they will release more colors. Other pants that I like using a lot are the Winsor Newton and also the Equaline brush pants. The reason why I don't use them as much as the smaller brush pants is simply because they need more space on the page and my paper is most of the time pretty much filled. To be honest, I can't really decide which one I like more. The nibs feel quite different. The Winsor Newton one is rather firm while the Ecoline brush pan nib is rather soft, so they do feel different and I can't decide which one I like more. I only have a few colors of the Ecoline brush pans as I wanted to test them first before getting a whole pack, but now I definitely want to get the pack. Same with Windsor and Newton, I only have the black one. I did get a pastel pack recently, but those are alcohol based and not water based like the black one. But for some reason I don't have the urge to get more of the Winsor Newton water based one. I rather want the alcohol based ones. But those are not really meant for lettering. Uh, maybe I do like the alkaline brush pan a little more. I don't know, I just feel like the um, Winsor Newton brush pans are just more expensive than the alkaline ones. And also I had the impression that the alcohol based brush pans are cheaper than the water base, which is weird because it actually it should be the other way around. I'd also like to mention a few pants that I did like at first but don't use so much anymore. The first one is the Sakura Kai. I also really like it. It feels, I think it's comparable to the Linda Newton one. It's rather firm, but I feel as I have used it more often, it kind of got softer a little and now I don't, I, I think I don't like it as much as I did when it was brand new. Same with the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen brush pen. Same with the Faber Castell Pit Artist brush pens. I did like them a lot in the beginning. I still like the pastel pad because I don't use them as much or haven't used them as much as the black one. And I think the black one might have frayed a little bit. So it's not. I feel like it's not as good as it was when it was brand new. I recently also rediscovered the brush pens by adding. Those were my first brush pens and they are great for beginners. And the reason why I haven't used them in a while is simply because I keep my black pens around my desk and my black adding brush pen is frayed. And a frayed brush pen is just not fun to use. The colored ones, as I didn't use them much, they are still intact and pretty well. Besides, the red, this one is broken. Um, but those are still pretty good and so I realized that they are actually quite good brush pants that I usually don't use that much. I mean I could switch them out. I mean I will reorganize my brush pants so that I can grab any brush pen, not just the black ones. Um, so I might end up using them well more often. And there is another brush pen that I used to like a lot last year and those are the Kelly brush pens by <laughs> Online. I did like them a lot when I got them. I mean, they do feel, they still feel the same. I think I just have more brush pens to compare them with and that's why I don't like them as much as when I had them because then I didn't have many pens to compare those to. Um, they're still good, I just don't use them as much as other pens that I mentioned in this video. And now to the brush pen I use the most often. This is the pen I use for almost all my Instagram pictures and it's the water brush pen. I used to 
use them in combination with the Crayola Super Tips but recently I rather use the Equine Liquid watercolors in combination with this water brush pen and I usually do like a light wash first or a lighter with a lighter color first and then kind of paint in with the watercolors but I also recently discovered or that I like actually by directly adding the colors that you can get really nice blends too which you can see in my pumpkin video and I mentioned this in there as well I'll link it down below and also part somewhere over there I guess it's this side um, yeah I also link my uh, Instagram down below if you want to check that out but I think the water brush pen is the pen I use a lot especially for or only for Instagram. If I'm really out of my desk just lettering random words, I don't use it. I just use those pens that I have around uh, around my desk, but not the water brush pen. But the water brush pen is the one that I love for creating pictures for Instagram. What are your favorite brush pens? Leave it in the comments down below. By the way, I will post a really big brush pen haul next week, so I'll put the link in the description below as soon as it's up. And that's already it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you might also want to check out my other videos somewhere over there. And maybe I'll see you in these videos. Bye!